What's going on, Taurus? How are you doing? Hope you're doing super well. This is the Autistic Mystic, and this is going to be a reading for April 2023. So in this reading, Taurus, we're going to take a look at your overall general energy for April. We're going to take a look at some things you do not see coming, and we're also going to get some advice from your angels and spirit guides and much more regarding April 2023 for you, Taurus. But before we begin this reading, as always, I do want to take a moment to let you know that you are very welcome here in this space with me as we go through this reading, and I really do appreciate you in advance for taking the time to check this reading out. Now, if this general reading happens to resonate with you, Taurus, definitely smash that like button. Subscribe down below if you have not already for future updates. I would also really appreciate that. But without further ado, I am now going to pull the energy, and we will see what it is that would like to come through for you for April 2023. As always, I would like to thank the angels, the interdimensional beings, and the spirit guides who are overseeing this act of divination for the sign of Taurus. See what we got going on here for you, Taurus. Ooh. Okay. Very interesting energy that you have here uh, for you, Taurus. So. For many of you, it does seem that you are dealing with a very difficult love situation for some of you. Um, let's just go ahead and get into this reading, though. When it comes to your opportunity for um, April 2023, Taurus, it is the Page of Swords upright. So the Page of Swords is your opportunity is really about being some sort of brainiac in your life and really thinking things through. The Page of Swords is someone who's ready to take action as well. You see them standing alone in a field, and they're kind of just waiting to swing that sword here. So there there may be some action that you need to take, um, but it is more so coming through as really questioning your own mind and questioning what's going on around you, especially for those of you that are dealing with a very challenging love situation. It's coming through as there's someone you have so much love for, Potentially for many of you, you've been in a situationship or a relationship with them for a long time, but there does seem to be a lack of, dare I say, oomph to the relationship, if that makes any sense. Um, we're going to clarify why the Page of Swords is here in your opportunity in a moment. When it comes to your challenge for April 2023, Taurus, we do have the Devil. So the Devil is your in your challenge. You know, this is about some sort of... Uh, something keeping you chained up, but you're not as chained as you think you are, really, Taurus, because you see the the clamps on this card are not actually tied um, as tightly as you might think, and so the devil always makes deals with you. There is something here about, um, you know, like, nothing comes free in life, so if you do something that you know is toxic or you know it's not for your highest good, you may not pay for it in the moment, but you may pay for it later. That's kind of what... Um, that's kind of what this devil is coming through as. Now, for many of you, it does have to do with this love situation that we have going on here. Um, so, okay, let's, let's keep going. I'm not going to get ahead of myself here, Taurus. But um, when it comes to your overall general energy for April, you have the Page of Cups, you have the Three of Swords, and you also have the Star here. So... With this energy here, Taurus, this Page of Cups is standing out to me as someone around you. It's not really your own energy. Now, it could be your own energy in terms of kind of being a little bit too loosey-goosey idealistic about someone in your life here. You have the Three of Swords, which is heartache, and you have the Star here. 
some of you, there is really, there really is a, a, a deep potential for transformation within a relationship that you're in. If you're in a situationship, if you're in a relationship or something like that, Taurus, by the end of the month, it seems like you really have a potential to make it through a rough patch with some sort of lover or someone that you're really interested in here, Taurus. It is turning into a bit of a love reading, so sometimes that happens in the generals. It is what it is. We're going to clarify all this in a moment, Taurus, to really make sense of it. For a select few of you, there is something about your person is not being masculine enough. I just did a reading for Leo, and it was like the opposite. It was like some toxic masculine around you. This is not going to be for all of you. Please take it as it resonates, as always with these general readings, Taurus, but there is something about someone who um, may need to grow up a little bit, or m m uh, the word I'm looking for is man up. Um, someone almost is like castrated around you, and it may be in a very subtle and weird and not obvious way. So if you find a man around you is not stepping up to the plate or being, or you, I don't know, it's a very interesting, and some of you love this person, for these qualities, but it's turning, I don't know, we're going to get more information when we clarify for sure, but when it comes to what you don't see coming here, Taurus, um, you do have the Eight of Swords, you have the Lovers, and you have the Justice card when it comes to what you do not see coming here, Taurus, for April 2023. So with this energy, once again, there really is a big energy of loyalty and commitment and moving through a difficult love situation because I read chronologically, Taurus, this is how the beginning of the month starts off for you and what you don't see coming, this is how it ends. And you have the Justice card upright and the Justice card is right underneath that star energy. Um, so for a lot of you here, I see there being some sort of difficult love situation. We're going to get into the details of that in a moment when we clarify once again. But for a lot of you, Loyalty really could be your saving grace here. Really could be. Um, you know, being loyal to someone. But then again, it's... We'll see if it's a temporary fix or if it's long term. Because the devil is your challenge. So we're going to see. When it comes to your advice from your spirit guides, you have the king of swords upright. You have the seven of pentacles. And you also have the four of swords here, Taurus. So with this energy... This is really an energy of mind your own business, okay? So, you know, no matter what you have going on other than your love life, other than your love aspirations here, Taurus, there really is something about minding your own business is the message that's coming through. The Four of Pentacles is very closed off energy, very frugal, taking care of your finances, investing in yourself. And the King of Swords is obviously someone who is um, very, you know, stand up. There is something about the law here as well. You have the Justice card, the next card in the spread is the King of Swords. So your advice may you, may, you may need to get information about how you need to tell someone that they need to man up in your own life. And this is going to come through in very different ways for different ones of you. But there is an energy here of you need someone around you to be, to man up. And roles can be reversed. You may also, you know, if you're ma more masculine watching this, you may need to um, have a conversation with your partner about something to do with feminine energy. You know, this is not to do with gender. It's just to do with polarity here. So apply it to your own unique situation, of course. Um, but really, there is an energy of there is an energy of a deep conversation that you need to have with someone because there is a lot of potential to repair a relationship. There really is. Um, so with that being said, I'm excited to start clarifying this reading for you, Taurus. Uh, Let's go ahead and see why the Page of Swords is here. I just I uh, I just got finished playing basketball and I literally jammed I jammed my thumb so bad, and so every time I'm shuffling it like hurts. Uh, but it is what it is, right? So let's go ahead and see why the Page of Swords. I'm good though, you know what I mean. I re recover quick. But let's see why the Page of Swords is here as your opportunity. You have a bunch of cards coming out. I'm gonna take a look at them because there's a lot coming out, so there is a message here. You have the Hermit, the Six of Cups, you have the Seven of Swords, Four of Swords, Two of Swords, Page of Wands. Huh. I'm gonna get a proper pull though. Let me get this proper pull. Hold on, let's see why the Page of Swords is here for you, Taurus. Why is the Page of Swords your opportunity? What does this have to do with, please, for Taurus?
Page of Swords in your opportunity is clarified by the Five of Pentacles in reverse, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, and also the Sun in reverse here. So, um, there is something here about a potential, something to do with your happiness and your destiny may be, you may need to question, you know, is this really, is my life really making me happy and am I really, uh, living it to the fullest here, Taurus? Now, you do have the Five of Pentacles in reverse here, so... What I am getting is, for a select few of you out there, there could be someone who you're having a hard time with financial issues. You know, when I told you there's someone around you that needs to man up, even if you're a man watching this and this is, you know, you, you live with a woman, it doesn't matter. But there's something about your own, like a, a, a major opportunity that will be missed by you if you can, if you simply, to, if you continue to put up with the same behavior from someone and you don't address it, you know. Now, some of you here, there is an element of you think you know it's going to make you happy when it comes to this person, but you may not. Um, the wheel of fortune in reverse, missed opportunity, um, the sun in reverse, unhappy, you know, and the five of pentacles in reverse here. I don't like that, but because it is your opportunity, we're going to have to see. We're going to have to keep going to get more information. Okay, let's go ahead and see what the devil is your challenge. Why is the devil your challenge here, Taurus, for April? Okay, I'm going to take those. The devil is clarified by the temperance card um, upright and the five of cups in reverse when it comes to uh, your challenge here, Taurus. So with this energy being your challenge, I feel like a lot of you, this toxicity definitely has to do with, um, with love, Okay, it's coming through intuitively as like you merging your energy with someone here in a harmonious way. It's going to become difficult for you to do that because for a lot of you, you've suppressed how you really feel. The five of cups in reverse here, Taurus, is coming through as like, you know, the reason why the page of, page of swords is your opportunity to question things, get more information. A lot of you right now are not really admitting to how you really feel. Like you're not really admitting that this is making you unhappy when it comes to you and someone um, that you're dealing with in love is what I'm getting here, Taurus. And so with this energy being here as your challenge, you gotta be on, like all I'm, gonna, all I'm really getting right now is you must be honest with yourself and other people. And there may be a difficult conversation that you need to have. We're gonna get more when we get the advice here, but um, hmm. I just think someone is not doing this. Someone is, uh, and it, it ain't working out, you know what I mean? Like, if you really dig deep and you ask yourself these questions instead of try to, like, brush it or stuff it in the closet or brush it under the rug, you know? So, um, let's see why the Three of Swords is here. Why is the Three of Swords here for you, Taurus, when it comes to your overall general energy? You may have to have a conversation where you break someone's heart and you're cold about it and you're like, listen, if you love me, this is what I need. Remember, your advice is the King of Swords... The four, of pe the four of pentacles and the, se the seven of pentacles here. Being stern, you know, before we even clarify, like not saying a lot, it's almost like the energy that I'm getting is you don't need to write this person an essay. You need to formulate what you need to say to this person in like two sentences and then be quiet. Because the <laughs> now some of you are going to think this is manipulative, but when it comes to sa sales and selling, like the person, if you're a salesperson, you most salespeople always blow the sale because they talk too much at the end. You know, they're like, and here's the offer for only $200. And then there's a silence. And then they, they try to convince the person more and it doesn't work. Same thing with you in this love situation. You want to be less is more, I'm telling you. That may be uncomfortable for you, but do you want to get a message across or no? Um, because if this person really loves you, then they need to take you as a part of themselves. And it seems with this energy, in order for them to really love you, they have to address something deeper within you. The energy coming through is not an issue with you and how you're showing up in their relationship. The issue is you're not even, for some of you, you're not even communicating what's bothering you. And so, and you've been putting it off. So, uh... Let's just see why the Three of Swords is here. Sorry, sometimes I get the downloads when I'm when I'm shuffling. But let's see. Yeah, judge. Um, let's see why the Three of Swords is here. Three of 
Three of Swords and your overall general energy is clarified by the Emperor, the Six of Pentacles, and the Ace of Wands here. Yeah, so uh, there's a lot coming through here. But remember, I told you someone needs to man up here, Taurus. You have the Emperor, you have the Six of Pentacles, and you also have the Ace of Wands. I, I'm getting a lot from this. What I'm getting from this is that if you were to really... If you were to really call someone out like, hey, I'm not, I'm starting to become not happy or I'm starting to become not attracted to you because you're not really, you're not really stepping up here. Um, I think it's, I think it's going to hurt them. You know, I really think, and that's going to hurt you. If you care about them, then that's going to hurt you. And so there is something here about, you know, the ace of wands upright has to do with male virility. The Six of Pentacles has to do with an even exchange, give and take, and you also have the Emperor here, which has to do very much so similar to the King of Swords and your advice, ad addressing this masculine issue that you have with this person. I just think it's not going to really sit well, um, but it's better to catch it when it's small. It's better to address something rather than constantly trying to sweep it under the rug, unless that's what you prefer and that's what you can do, and I'm not here to tell you what to do. I'm here to read your energy. So someone needs to grow up. Now, roles can be reversed. I would always say take accountability. But, you know, you could have a situation on your hands that, like, the person around you is just not, like, they're not attacking life with the same gusto that you have. Not that they're running around frantic, like, with their hair on fire, you know, trying to manifest or trying to do this or do that. I I'm saying you need this person to improve 10%. And if they can't even do that, you know, you're dealing with a very emotionally unstable person if you can't, if you're like, hey, you know, why do I have to pay the rent? Or, like, why do you, <laughs> like, like, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to say something. If you have children around you, turn it off. Turn it off right now. Some of you, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not, it's, it's, listen, some of you, this person can't even get hard. You know what I mean? Or like, if you're a ma if you're masculine, if you're masculine watching this, you're more ma you're a man. You're unattracted, you know, because of this behavior someone's doing. But for most of you out there listening to this, it's almost like <laughs> it's almost like you know, there's a certain level of I'm just smelling weakness, Taurus. You know, I'm just smelling like not like if you really if you are a man. If you're if you're mainly masculine, you have to have a level of like primal, huh? And it's hard, you know. We live in a weird society. I understand, but it just seems like like the person that you're with could, if they were just doing ten percent more, it would be great. Um, I just let's see why the Page of Cups is here. I didn't expect this reading to go in this direction, but you know, that's for some reason it's literally the only thing that keeps coming up. Why is the Page of Cups here for you? Yeah, Knight of Cups in Reverse. Okay, the Page of Cups is clarified by the Knight of Cups in Reverse. Um, someone who, you know, the Knight of Cups in Reverse can be someone who is, like, overconfident even, you know? And so, like, the Knight of Cups in Reverse, someone who's idealistically thinks that, you know, this is something... Th someone has a very high opinion of themselves or they think this or that about themselves, you may need to give them a reality check for your own mental health here. Um, now, this person may be very alluring, though. There may be... They're, mm, very interesting. But I see it... I honestly see, like, it transforming. Um, let's see why the Justice card is here when it comes to what you do not see coming. Why is the ju and remember the justice is right underneath that star. Why is the justice card here for you, Taurus? The Justice card in what you don't see coming is clarified by the Four of Wands in reverse, the Tower, and also the Moon. Hmm. Wow. All right. Well, someone may not be taking this so well. Um, someone, there may be an issue in your home life, um, but if, man. So in what you don't see coming, the Four of Wands in reverse, the Tower upright, and also the Moon upright here, Taurus. Wow. So it seems like as the energy stands right now, 
you may need to reformulate how you bring this up because as of right now, as the energy stands right now, the way that you're going to talk to this person about manning up or womaning up or whatever, you know, you translate this frequency to your specific situation to whatever degree necessary. For some of you, it's going to be overboard. For some of you, it's going to be very subtle. Take it as it resonates. But it seems someone is, um, someone here ain't, you know, someone may have a rude awakening here, very rude awakening. And I feel like it's honestly like some of you, I may be even triggering you because honestly, the page of swords is in your opportunity. So some of you may even still be having a hard time admitting this to yourself. You may be going back and forth with yourself even during this reading of, you know, no, I'm, he's fine. They're fine. He, she's fine. He's fine. You know, but deep down, that's not the case. You feel trapped in something that's not doing it for you. And this has been a repeating message that I've been getting for you. So for those of you that have been in a long-term commitment over the last like four months, this is the same thing that's been, that I've been talking about on this channel. But it seems like you do have a lot of love. And so you want, that's why you want to be careful about how you say it. Man, this is difficult. All right. So let's also, um, let's just give me a little bit more. I'm going to clarify why this lover's card is here, Taurus, you know, because there is there is love here. Why is the lover the fool? The lover's card is clarified by the fool, the two of swords, and the nine of cups here. You're dealing with someone here, Taurus, who ain't, who's not going to change. I'm sorry to say it. They're just not, it's just not in who they are. For some of you, it's frustrating because the way that they're behaving is, is, is coming from trauma. You know, it's, it's not who they really are. They would be romantically pleasing you better if they didn't have this trauma. It's not, we're going to not judge anyone for having trauma, by the way. We're not doing that. But what we are doing is being real. And, um... On the other hand, some of you just need to admit some of you just need to admit that there's some sort of incompatibility here, you know. And that's why that's why the page of swords to the sun in reverse, the wheel of fortune is in reverse here. Um, you know, many of you uh, it's, it's a rough one. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Now, um, for many of you, you know, this isn't a breakup reading. It is addressing deeper things, though. But for many of you here, depending on how severity of of the you know overlap to your situation with this reading, I mean, some of them may freak out when you have this conversation with them. And if that's the case, there's the door. You know, I'm serious. Like that's just how are you gonna do that? Um, how are you gonna do that? Um, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify why the King of Swords is here. Why is the King of Swords here in your advice from Spirit for April? The King of Swords is clarified by the Page of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, and the Seven of Wands in reverse here. So yeah, you really may, your advice is to really look at Taurus. Are you trying to work on something? Are you trying to work on something that is simply broke? Or it's not going to, it's not going to, you know, you really need to question what are you trying to work on in your life right now? And how is this bleeding into other areas of your life when it comes to you and this person? You know, you wasting a ton of mental, emotional capital that's going to hold you back in your career. And so it seems like you're fighting a war. You know, the thing about, like, all of us are going through a struggle in this life. You know, if, if you have nothing, you're, 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 you're going through a struggle to get to attain, whether that be spiritual, mental, whatever. If you have something, then you're fighting to keep that spiritual peace, material abundance. You're fighting a battle to keep that and like when it comes to battle because life is a form of battle in a certain sense when it comes to battle you need to choose your battles wisely 
you know, and a lot of you are fighting a really stupid war right now. And the war that you're choosing to fight, I'm sorry, it's going to lead you away from your destiny. Now, please take this as it resonates. If this is resonating with you, you're going to know it's your reading. If it's not resonating with you, you're going to know it's not your reading. If you, if you have a very masculine man or if you have something, it's very subtle. You need to be, you need to be uh, smart with these general readings. But, man, all right, let's go ahead and see why the Four of Pentacles is here, and then we're done. Actually, no, we have a bonus oracle message, but hold on. Um, the Four of Pentacles is clarified by the Judgment card in reverse, the Knight of Pentacles upright, and also the Five of Swords in reverse here, um, Taurus. So, really... You know, if you're going to do anything at all, it may just be to keep your mouth shut and, like, let the fire burn through you, if that makes any sense. Um, there's almost something that if you do nothing this month, if you try to avoid this situation, let it fester and then you'll have to deal with it when it's big. I wouldn't suggest that, but because this is in your advice, the Judgment card in reverse and the Page of Swords upright in your opportunity, I just think you're not really seeing something clearly when it comes to a toxic situation energy that's attached to you. Now, what we're going to do is finally, we're going to get some, what's the secret, me what's the secret message that this person we've been talking about, what's the secret message that this person has for you deep down? If they were honest and they were being upfront and they were being totally truthful, what's the message that this person has deep down for you that we've been talking about this entire reading, please? message this person has for you is, I hid who I really am from you. I hid who I really am from you. So with that being said, I'm going to conclude this reading, and I hope that this provided you clarity and insight, Taurus. I'll talk to you next time. It's the Autistic Mystic. Peace.